This is our 68 Mustang GT. Uh, so this video will cover a couple different things. First, there will be a slow paced walk around. Uh, following that, I will do a second walk around in which I will show close ups of each of the cosmetic blemishes. So just hold out for that. But the car has been repainted once in the correct lime gold metallic. Uh, the interior actually matches its ivory gold kiwi, uh, which is a really, really cool colorway. Um, the car does have its, you know, fair amount of dings and blemishes, but you'll see those. Paint was clearly done to a high standard. There's no, you know, no paint run, uh, no dust under the paint, no nothing like that. The car was built March 68. Uh, it's a 302 J code. Um, it still wears the 289 badges because as this was an early 68, it was actually when Ford was changing over from the 289 to the 302. So the early 302s still wear the 289 badges. Uh, the motor is date stamped um, mid-67, mid uh, we believe it to be the original unit. Uh, the chrome throughout is excellent, uh, really no oxidation. The rocker trim is a little bit dull, but you know not damaged, and chrome is totally intact. Glass is clear and crack-free. Uh, doors open and close without a fuss. Wheels are in really, really nice shape, uh, as are the tires, which our DOT number indicates they were manufactured in 2007. So here are all the blemishes. There is one large flake off right there on the corner of the hood, driver's side. As you go back, there's a couple little scratches. And then this is the worst part of the car right here. Uh, the passenger rear pillar, there's a couple little dings um, that took some paint off. And then the trunk lid appears to have some minor hail damage, uh, which is odd because it's the only spot on the car. The roof and the hood are perfectly fine. It's really just the trunk lid. Try to see it under the light there. And then there's a couple scratches there on the rear. But as you can tell, seeing up close, the paint is actually a really good quality. Um, nice metallic sparkle to it. Another major blemish there. Interior, you can see it better in the pictures, but it really pops. Seats are in excellent shape, kind of a two-tone olive. Uh, front and rear both really show nowhere. Dash is in nice shape with the exception of one large crack on top. Uh, blower motor works, head unit turns on. 